Well, hello and welcome to week 13 of BTHQ Banter. Things have escalated somewhat more since I last spoke to you. Um, yeah, so yesterday was my day off, um, but on Wednesday night, after I got home from here, uh, the Prime Minister announced that they would be closing schools here in the UK as of today, Friday which um, sent everyone into a whirlwind, although we were expecting it, um, it still wasn't great. Uh, so now all of us mummies and daddies are now officially homeschoolers and workers and still expected to do our jobs um, at the same time and look after ourselves and self-isolate if we need to. So yeah, it's fun times, it's fun times. Um, if you haven't watched last week's BTHQ banter, I would suggest you go back and do that before you carry on with this one. Um, I actually quite enjoyed editing last week's BTHQ banter um, and uploading it because so much evolved and happened in one small week. Um, and in such a short time frame and we had to deal with so much that it was actually quite... I enjoyed documenting it. It was interesting to watch back and I know in years to come when I look back over these videos, which I'm sure I will do, um, I'm going to find that one particularly interesting. Um, I did speak to Elspeth this morning. She is absolutely fine, um, but she has decided that she is now going to keep herself at home. Um, she does have a somewhat compromised immune system and um, various chest conditions and things that would mean she could be very, very poorly if she was to come down um, with the coronavirus. So sensibly, she has decided to stay at home now. I went and dropped some bits and pieces off to her this morning. We're keeping her stocked with food and things. Um, so yes, please keep an eye out for her um, online on our Facebook group and things and obviously we will try and include her in BTHQ as much as we possibly can. She did say to me, um, please don't stop doing BTHQ banter, even if BTHQ is closed and we've got no classes. And I won't, because I know that there are so many of you that um, watch BTHQ banter and enjoy um, following along with the business and what I do here. So whether I am self-isolating at home or whether I'm still able to come in here or whether people still come in for classes, I will still continue to BTHQ banter, do not worry. Even if I do end up getting struck down, um, I shall BTHQ banter from my bed. Um, so yeah, today I have got my two ladies for their second part of Three Week Beginners. I'm gonna check my emails because I don't know whether they've emailed me to say they're not coming there's no messages on the answer machine um so yeah we'll see see whether they come and then i've got crochet part two this afternoon i do know of two ladies that aren't coming um so yeah we'll just see what happens i think slowly but surely this week you're going to see numbers go bop 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 nothing um that's my suspicion but while we can carry on as best we can that's what we're doing so i'll see you a bit later so we've braved it, we're sewing. How's your bag going, Natasha? Huh? How's your bag going? It's going great. It's going <laughs> great. We've got another bag coming along nicely here. And we've got Phil next door. He's working. He's busy, busy. Hello. <laughs> you can even work from BTHQ if you need to. <laughs> but the lounge is empty and it's a sad, sad sight totally forgot to get a picture of them with their finished bags what a nightmare anyway gone home happy happy um i've just set up for my crochet class this afternoon i've got three possibly two of the four coming so i've moved the tables around so that one person can sit at one end one person can sit here the other one can sit there and they can remain at least two meters apart uh, so yeah we'll see who comes and who turns up We've had people drop like flies. Um, tomorrow's crochet class has gone from six to one within 24 hours. So it's not looking promising. Um, interestingly, the Understanding a Sewing Pattern one is still with five people. So we'll see what happens with that one over the next couple of hours. 
Um, I am actually considering running that one by Zoom, um, which for those of you who don't know what Zoom is, it's like an online video conferencing program and I've used it lots in the past and it's really good. And that particular course is something that you don't need to actually be here physically. Um, as long as I know what patterns people are working from and they send me a picture of the back of it, um, then I can, I can do that. So I'm considering that, but I'm going to wait until probably tonight or tomorrow morning and see kind of what happens and who voluntarily moves to other days and we'll see what happens. I can't be um, getting too worried about it at the moment. So I'm just gonna have some lunch and a little sit down um, and a quick tidy up in here and a bit of a squirt round before my crochet ladies arrive and we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. I forgot to add, I was a bit of a genius. I suddenly realized that if we can't run part three of today's class next week because the government makes the decision that we're not allowed to open um, at all, I've sent the girls home with the fabric and the materials that they need to be able to do their zip cushion at home. Um, and I've said that we will have a Zoom uh, class. And likewise, if only one of them can come in for whatever reason, um, then that's fine, we'll still do it here, but we'll Zoom in the other. Um, so they're quite excited about that, um, at the prospect. So we've covered all bases. These three lovely ladies have joined us this afternoon. We're practicing our social distancing, um, <laughs> which is good. Um, so we're busy making roses. I'm gonna just zoom in on you, Doris. That's the easiest thing to do. Then I don't have to come over. <laughs> so we're busy crocheting our roses. Actually, we've finished crocheting roses. We're just stitching them up now. I'll show you them in a minute when they're finished. Good afternoon. It is Saturday. Um, I popped in this morning just to pick up some bits and bobs and then went up the high street um, to visit a couple of my fellow local businesses, um, offer them a little bit of support, pick some bits and pieces up. Um, it was weird out there, weird out there. There was lots of people about, but everyone was very noticeably keeping apart from each other, which was really good. Um, Managed to get the bits I needed. Gave them a pat on the shoulder. Dropped off some more bits and bobs to Elspeth. She's keeping well. Um, she's actually starting to build a little group in her road, which is really lovely. They're all helping each other out and doing lots of things. So that's nice to see them coming together. So this afternoon I have my understanding a dressmaking pattern yeah that's what I'm teaching um, <laughs> this afternoon I should have had five ladies on that um, I sent an email out yesterday um, just saying that if anybody wanted to defer their place they were more than welcome and um, sort of in the hope to bring the numbers down a little bit because I didn't really feel comfortable with five um, we're down to three which I feel much happier with um, and I will catch the other two ladies up at a later date as soon as we know more so I'm going to do that this afternoon and then I'm going to have a couple of days off. A <laughs> much needed rest as I begin my life as a homeschooling mother. Um, <laughs> but let's see how the rest of the day pans out. Yay, Trudy and Leslie are here. Say hello, ladies. Hello. hello. Courteously, a good two metres apart from one another. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Uh, we are busy working on understanding a dressmaking pattern. Have I blown your minds yet, ladies? Very complicated. Never yes. knew it was going to be like this. Yeah, two different size packets, finished garment measurements, we're covering the lot. I think that this is one of the ones that I can potentially take online um, as with a small group of people um, and we can work on things together from the comfort of our own home. So I'm hoping to get that sorted over the next few days. I have another little visitor as well. Look, someone is sitting over there. Say hello, Isabel. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Isabel's done me a favour. She has come in to have a look through my big um, shopping catalogue of dreams, which I don't normally let people look through. <laughs> it's my wholesaler book. Um, I need to order some crochet hooks so that I can get some kits together for my intermediate crochet ladies, but I don't need to place an order that's big enough to hit my um, target. So, Leslie, um, Leslie. Names. Isabel has come to have a look through and is being tempted by bits and bobs. Um, 
Yeah, there's that list growing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it means we can put an order in with the suppliers and get some bits and bobs in. So yeah. Good day. Lots of space. We're breathing clean air, and um, very shortly I'll be going around with me Dettol, and uh, it'll be another end of a week at BTHQ. It's certainly been interesting. Can you do a twirl? Yeah. Oh, have you made a top? Yes, yes. Hang on. What about should I be to do You can twirl twirls? there, that's fine. What top is that? Um, this is the um, staple vest top. Bye. It was one of the magazines. Oh, right, right. So love sewing like or something. something like it's really pretty. I love the fabric. Let me zoom. Hang on. I can use my zoom. I don't have to come near you. I can, I can zoom in. I'm trying not to zoom in on your boobs. Yeah, because if you zoom in on one of boobs, you'll see that one of them's got a blue, still got a kind of a tailor's, a blue tailor's, tailor's chalk. chalk mark it's very pretty on. fabric. It's like, a, is it a linen? No, I don't know what it it's is. It's like a lawn or a floaty fabric. It's very nice. We like that. Well done, my lovely. Did you make your ginger jeans? No. No. Normal ones. Oh, well. And as it's got your label on it, I love your labels. What does it say? Um, Love and profanities, yeah. I think. <laughs> Love and profanities. Love it. Good morning. Welcome back to BTHQ Banter. It is Tuesday. And wow, what's happened in the past two days. Um, it comes as absolutely no surprise, but last night the UK went into what I'm going to call semi-lockdown. Um, we aren't as strict as some countries, um, but everybody has been advised to stay at home unless they are going for essential grocery shopping, helping a loved one or caring for somebody or if they absolutely must go to work and or cannot work from home. So, I can work from home, but to do so would mean taking my camera rig, my sewing machine, my overlocker, my cutting things, all of my materials um, for every single class that I intend to teach online um, and that would be a mammoth undertaking. It would probably take me an entire day to load my car and take it home with me um, and I haven't certainly got room in my house to get it all out. It would have to kind of live in my car um, as an office so to speak and that is my plan if we are banned from leaving our homes in the sense that we actually can't leave our towns and if companies and businesses are forced to close but as it stands BTHQ is my premises I can lock the doors on it and nobody needs to come in here at all I can get in my car at my house I can drive to my work and I can get out of my car and I don't need to come face to face with a single human being so what I'm doing and under the agreement of my landlord um, is using BTHQ as an extension of my family home. What that means is it means that I can come to work um, and I can bring my children with me and as we are home educating um, they can undertake their schooling here. Um, so it's basically just an extension of my home space. i put the lights on, hang on. There we go. So we'll see how long that lasts. As I say, we've been given this advice by the government. Um, last week they advised us not to go to cafes and restaurants. People still did, they shut them down. They then advised us not to go out in groups. People still did, and now they've done this. So I would imagine they've advised us not to leave our house. In a week's time, people still will do. People will still be mixing and socializing and not following the social distancing rules and they will shut us down even further and when that happens we'll deal with it but this is where we are now so today welcome to BTHQ I have lots of jobs to do I've got lots of orders to package and get out I've got lots of cutting out to do I've got lots of preparation to do um, for our online classes which are going to be taking place later in the week um, and at the same time I'm going to be homeschooling my children so in just five minutes little Miss Mac is going to be starting PE with Joe Wicks and I'm going to be having an IT lesson with Mr Mac, not Mr Mac, Little Mac um, and we're going to be setting up a computer workstation for him here so that he can do his schoolwork. So let's see how today goes and see if I'm not pulling my hair out by the end of it.
Oh, you see that one? I do it all the time. So we've done PE with Joe Wicks and now Izzy is listening to a story from the lovely Natasha from Chicken and Frog Bookshop. And he skied faster than he'd ever skied. I'm a lone wolf, hey, shouted Tash. Eric. Nothing can stop me now. You ready for another howl? You ready? You ready? <laughs> and while that's going on, next door we have set up our home working station um, for Tom and he's currently doing his English work. So we've moved my computer down onto the table here so he can sit and crack on with his schoolwork. And just a bit of proof, look, he is actually doing, what are you doing? Book of the Week, Mrs Paddock's Book of the Week for Key Stage 3. Really he's nice actually thing. doing his proper work. I've never seen any reason to be frightened of saying Voldemort's name. I know you haven't, said Professor McGonagall, only half exasperated, half admiring. You're different. Everyone knows you're the only one you know who can write from Voldemort. It's frightening them. What are you doing, is this? Spellings. Spelling shed. Good girl. So we are now prepping for next week's kids online craft class, painting some jam jars, ready for our grass heads to go in, which we've just made. They're not quite finished yet. Um, but we thought we'd make some samples, give them a few days to grow and just make sure that we know what we're doing before we go live on the old tinterwebs. So by the time you see this, hang on, let me turn you around. When you see this, it will be Friday. So if you want to make a grass head with your child, um, then join us on Facebook on Monday morning at 10 o'clock. You will need some grass seed. Um, I appreciate we've gone on to lockdown. Um, we did announce it a couple of weeks ago, so obviously you've had time to get some. But most supermarkets do actually sell grass seed, um, and I know um, you can get it on your online shop if you've got an online shop coming, I appreciate might not be able to get a slot the other solution is if you save the tops of your vegetables so your carrots parsnips and your root veg when you're making your sunday dinner you can insert the tops of your vegetables into these two and they will sprout carrot top hair so have a think about that when you're making your sunday lunch hopefully i'll see some of you on monday Okay, so it is half past two, which is when I would normally leave on a Tuesday and finish my working day. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and keep routine as much as I possibly can. Um, Izzy's done plenty of schoolwork. She's done some maths. She's done some PE. She's done some spellings. She's done some reading. And obviously she's been creative with me this afternoon. And we've made grass heads. We've learned about growing grass as well as doing something arty and crafty. So well done mummy point number one um tom has made a start on his history project he has done some research on space he has watched news round in fact they've both watched news round he has read to his grandparents um and generally been awesome and yeah they've both been really well behaved they've got loads of their schoolwork done or certainly not loads of their schoolwork but certainly more than enough um for day two of mummy school um and i have done all of my orders um, got those ready we can drop those off on our way home um i have packed up a box of craft materials for my mum to drop to her when i take her food and things around to her later and i have also done exactly the same for elspeth so we are allowed to um, deliver things to family and vulnerable people and those that we care for that's still allowed um, so basically my plan is to drive home and I'm going to leave the children in the car drive home drop the bits on Elspeth's doorstep 
drop the bits on my mum's doorstep and then drop the parcels at the drop off point so I don't have to come into contact with anybody other than the doorsteps and again we're doing the whole two metres apart thing so I'm quite pleased with the way I've managed to manage my day and stick within our rules for social distancing so I'm quite proud of myself if I do say so myself. Tomorrow is another day we are here all day tomorrow um, but I'm going to be spending tomorrow setting up my camera rig um, because I've got the overhead camera rig here um, and I've now learned I think how I can connect it um, via zoom and streaming software so that I can flick between forward facing camera and overhead camera live so I'm going to try and practice that tomorrow and um, because I've got a couple of classes on Friday that I'm doing via zoom and it'd be really great if I could get that up and running and if I master it then I also think I've worked out how to do a webinar which means all of you who are interested in doing cricket training with me um, I can potentially run my cricket masterclass that I was planning on running from here via webinar so watch this space anyway i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching hello it is tuesday it is 10 past one and i completely forgot to pick the camera up um we've been here all morning and um, this morning i have been furiously trying to work out how to connect my overhead camera rig um to zoom so that i can do my online classes and I can't get that to work, but I have worked out a better way, which is good. Took me a little bit of practice and a little bit of trial and effort. Um, I had to rope in Elspeth from home to do a, a pretend lesson with me, um, but I have managed to work it out, so that's great. By the time you see this, we will be running our art class on Friday morning. You might just, or Friday afternoon, you might just be able to get in with a chance um, because it is at 12.45 on Friday. So if you're watching this Friday morning, um, it's not too late to join in. So I've set up for that today um, because I'm not here tomorrow. So I'll show you what I've done. I've got it all set up here. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing, making really cool, funky works of art. Um, I've got all of the materials and everything set up, and then what I'm going to be doing is having my tripod behind me, looking over my shoulder. Um, and then I'll have my laptop in front of me here, which will be looking at me, and that should work quite nicely. Izzy's still got her little workstation set up here, as you can see. She's been doing um, some maths this morning, um, and some spellings. She's got an activity book to be working on lots of different bits and pieces but she's currently been doing some art and I have taught her how to rub with tracing paper and rub off your designs which I can't believe she didn't know how to do so she's been doing these little foxes and hedgehogs and um, we did do a little live stream this morning as well on Facebook and we taught everyone in the world how to paint on glass and we've done some rainbows on the door that was good fun um, I'll try and link the live stream down below so that you can go and see it um, and then next door we are all ready for our Monday morning kids class we made um, our heads yesterday I'm going to take all of this home with me tonight um, because we're going to be doing the live stream from home on Monday morning um, again I'll put some information about that down below for you um, so that's ready to go home Tom's having a little chill here watching a bit of YouTube um, and I've got some bits and pieces ready to drop off to Elspeth Izzy's painted her a rainbow and I've also got some grass seed so that she and the neighbourhood children of her street can take part in the grass head workshop so yes ooh. Busy morning at BTHQ. We are just about to go out now for our bit of daily exercise. We're allowed to go out in the fresh air for a bit of exercise once a day um, as part of a family unit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over the back of the fields, um, over the back of BTHQ and go for a walk, come back and then I'm going to spend the afternoon cutting out various projects um, that I have got to get filmed and get done for classes. Um, it hasn't really stopped. I'm just as busy as I was before we shut. Um, I'm just teaching my kids instead of you lovely lot. <laughs> so we're gonna go for our walk and I'll see you a bit later. 
Good morning, hello and welcome. It is Thursday. Welcome back to BTHQ Banter. You don't normally get me on a Thursday, but I realised I completely forgot to finish this week's vlog yesterday. So I've just got the camera out ready to um, edit this together and upload it for Friday. That's something that I always do either on Wednesday night um, or on Thursday. So today is my day off, so I'm at home um, and we are obviously continuing with homeschooling. Um, I've done things a bit differently today rather Rather than a set timetable for the kids I've simply written down on some post-it notes what they need to do hang on I'll take you through and show you here we go look so I brought home my little um, paper flip chart from work and I've put post-it notes on here although they're not sticking very well so I've had to use some washi tape um, to say what they need to do and I've um, for Tom, he's got proper work that's been set by school. Um, Izzy, at the moment, we're getting that next week, but at the moment we're just picking things like reading for half an hour. Um, so she's got her book here. I've printed off some sheets and some worksheets, and school's sent through some like suggested learning links, so we've got some of those. So there's nothing too crazy there, but they're all things that they can come and they can take a post-it whenever they want throughout today, and they can work on that thing once it's done they're free to do whatever they like um, and I thought that was an easier way to homeschool today because it's supposed to be my day off um, I'm now working twice as hard because as well as working um, on the business I'm also working making sure that they're educated and looked after so I really do need to make sure that I put myself first and still have my me time so that's why we're doing today as we are doing today. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> we'll see. So at the moment, Tom is still asleep. He's decided he's going to have a lie-in, which is fine. Izzy has just got up, but she's listening to um, our lovely friend Tash from Chicken and Frog Bookshop, um, who is doing a twice weekly story time for children at half nine um so yeah it's a bit young for her but do you know what there's nothing wrong with listening to a good story so i've included that as part of her um homeschool so she's got a post-it note for that so she can tick that one off um and i'm just about to set up because we're going to have our very first virtual craft club this morning normally i'm going to put you down my arms are aching oh no too sunny hang on oh look you can see all my washing love it see it like it is um yeah normally on a friday morning the ladies will come into bthq and use the lounge and i said we could do that virtually um but fridays are going to be the day that i'm going to be um, at bthq on my own because mr mac is working from home on fridays so they're going to be the days that i can do all of my online teaching so i'm not really going to be around to host or run a craft club and I'd like to be involved with it, obviously. So I said to Viv, why don't we do it on a Thursday? Because Thursday's my day off. It means that I've got kind of enforced me time um, because I will take part in Craft Club and I will sit there and I'll do my knitting, all my crochet. Yeah, okay, I'm hosting the Zoom, so I'm chatting to people. Um, but it just means that I'm guaranteed some time, downtime. Um, and also it's a good point for people to come and join us. And actually, bearing in mind the majority of the people that would come to Craft Club are currently self isolating they've got quite a bit of time on their hands so <laughs> i don't think they're going to mind that we've moved it to a thursday instead of a friday so we'll see how it goes i am going to get you guys or get them to say hello to you guys in a minute and then i will then stop filming this week's vlog edit it all together and upload it and if we do craft club again next week um then keep an eye out on our facebook page and our instagram uh, because that's where we will announce it and then maybe you guys can join us too uh, don't forget monday morning we have our grass head people class um, it's free of charge it's on our facebook page um and that will be monday morning at what time did i say 9 30 or 10 10 Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. 10. It's definitely 10 because I didn't want to clash with Joe Wicks coming to an end. And I wanted to give all you mums half an hour in between. If you don't know who Joe Wicks is, by the way, if you're watching this and you're not in the UK, Joe Wicks is the body coach. Um, he's an online um, 
health and fitness guy and he has committed to doing PE for the kids every morning at nine o'clock um, throughout the whole of this um, coronavirus period. So the whole of the UK are doing PE with Joe Wicks at nine o'clock every morning. Um, in fact, you would have seen Izzy doing it a couple of days ago. So anyway, I'm waffling, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go, let's go and join Craft Club. Now there was at least, we've had what, 15 people? But everyone's yeah. gone and I forgot to pick the camera up. Can we say hello, everyone? Hello, everyone. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie's frozen. Um, Claire's frozen. And Ali's still there. Give us a wave, Ali and Helen. <laughs> the internet's failing us, but never mind. Silly me. <laughs> <laughs> That's really annoying actually because it was really good. Um, if you were able to join us for our virtual craft club then I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again same time next week. Um, as it is from me that is BTHQ Banter week 13 over and done with. I'm off to edit this, put it together and upload it and I will see you all again same time next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!